Welcome everybody to Still Life. sequel to Postmortem, um, another game by, uh, uh, Micros, I believe. Um, I don't think I've actually played Postmortem, like, I was looking into it, considering, like, I had some money for Christmas and I bought Still Life and Still Life 2, but, um, it's not a very good game. There's lots of gameplay issues. Like, um... Yeah, what do they say? Um, like, the dialogue is really incoherent. Um, like, it, it's put together, like, like the dialogue trees are really odd, oddly put together. There's a lot of bugs. And, um... Horrible voice acting, you know, it's just... It's just not a very good game, so I didn't I didn't bother with that one. Since I'm more familiar with, with the still life games anyway. So, um... You are, or we are, or she is Victoria uh, McPherson, the granddaughter of uh, this guy. Of uh, Gus McPherson. Uh, the first game took place in Paris in 1930s. And, uh, you had to find this, uh... This murderer. And, um, I guess we're doing the same thing, just, just in modern times. Uh, this is a pretty graphic game, like, there are, there will be gore, and I, I think there's some nudity too. Um, I think it's just boobs, but, you know, your discretion and all that. Alright, let's go. Microids, okay. I can't leave now. I still have work to do.
I don't know, I, I really like, like reading like these little things just because it feel more authentic, I guess. Not that I would know, but you know.
Looks like someone's in dire need of coffee. Hell yeah! Here you are. Thanks. This gonna hit the spot. You know, you're not like those other suits, Miss McPherson. You okay in my book. What do we have, the usual? Yeah, the same old shit. Anonymous phone call, no witnesses, and another dead girl. This one more banged up than the others. When I got here, I figured it was your perp's work, so I didn't bother reporting it to everyone. I, I just called Miller. So, are you the human popsicle yet? Can you believe this fucking weather? I mean, shit! It was 60 yesterday! And can you believe all this goddamn snow, too? Look at this shit! You know how hard it was getting here? Besides you, who got here first? Miller did about 10 minutes ago. Claire followed a few minutes later. Miller got here first, huh? Did he do it again? Yeah, he did. <laughs> oh, Claire is pissed as hell, too. She threw him out into the hallway. Where's the crime scene? The crime scene is through the entrance, up the stairs and to your right. Miller will be the chicken shit leaning up against the fridge. Miss McPherson, be careful in there. I need a tetanus shot just looking at this place. Well, okay. I guess I'll head up and see how Miller's doing. Okay, Agent McPherson. You watch yourself in there. Wow, you remind me of when I was at the academy. One day I decided to run the obstacle course after lunch. I lost everything, even my breakfast. It was a gruesome mash of pizza and French toast. If you're trying to help me, it's not working. Here you are. It might make things pass more... smoothly? Then again, maybe not. Miller, you're going to have to stop trying. You and dead bodies don't mix. I suggest you wait for us next time. We can't risk any more donut-contaminated crime scenes. Yes, I will, Agent McPherson. Oh, by the way, stop with the Agent McPherson, please. Just plain Victoria is fine, all right? We'll do, Victoria. Just out of morbid curiosity, where did the Martians land this time? I hurled in the toilet. Can we change the subject? Jeez, that would bring you to 2-0. Claire must be very happy right now. Actually, no she isn't. I think she wants to kill me. She threatened to tie me to your 4x4 and drag me through the streets. So what can you tell me? It's our guy's work all right. The victim's in an old bathtub. She's stuck in ice. I couldn't see much. Thank God. So where's Claire? Old Indian saying, follow stench. Find little pale-faced fat woman. Christ, Miller. I'm really not in the mood. Sorry. She's in the bathroom. Follow the hallway to the end, and it's the door to your left. She's working near the body. I think she needs you to take a look at the rest of the apartment. Here. Take the camera. 
Claire doesn't want me around, so you're gonna have to take pictures, too. Wonderful. Take it easy. See you in a bit. Better leave him be. Absolutely love what they've done here. The view is just super. I absolutely love what they've done. This door's been nailed shut. <laughs> nice work, too. have some splaining to do. Weird, a clean spot in such a messy place. Forensic lamp. This enables us to have a better look around. With the right filter, of course. Forensic lamp. This enables us to have a... Blood. Probably belongs to the victim. This is a nice pile of junk. Weird, a clean spot in such a messy place. Forensic lamp. This enables. Hmm. Pentagram. Blood. Probably belongs to the victim. Nice Christmas decorations. It's Claire's briefcase. She carries her stuff around in that. It's Claire's briefcase. She carries her stuff. Hello, Clarice. So, what's all the fuss about? Let's see. I have an idiot who throws up at a crime scene. I'm understaffed because I'm the only one crazy enough to work during the holidays. I'm freezing my butt off. The body is stuck in ice. And what else? This might actually help. Coffee? Yes, please. 
It's no wonder you were my best student. Hey, maybe you should take it easy with Miller. Take it easy? This is the second time I have to go through his vomit to see if there's any evidence hidden in the pile. Take it easy? No, I don't think so. What can I do to help? Have a look around and gather any evidence that you can find. I've wasted enough time getting this body ready for the meat wagon. You know how they can get pissy. Anyway, I thought I saw some blood stains as I came in. You can start by collecting some of that and then look around for more. Remember, always take a picture before you collect something. To help you out, grab the forensic tools from my briefcase in what's left of the kitchen. Once you've collected the evidence, come and help me out in here. You do know I'm a field agent, right? I think this is a little out of my league. Vic McPherson is out of her league? This is a first? Where did that come from? I don't know. I think I need a vacation. Sweetie, you can't always catch them on the first three victims. I know, I know. Thanks for helping out. My pleasure, Clarice. I'll stop that. Not getting a sample by dipping my finger in it. I need a tool. tool before I can use this properly. Looks like our perk cleaned up after himself. Use that here. I don't need to take another shot of this. I don't need to take another shot of this. Thank <laughs> you. 
I need a tool before I can use this properly. That graffiti looks great with the black light on. Getting a sample by dipping my finger in it. I need. Looks like faint traces of a blood trail. Looks like faint traces of a blood trail. Bingo! We've got hair and fiber samples. I need to take a picture before I take samples. I can't use my hands to collect these. I don't need to do this again. Okay, all done and neatly packed. Great. Thanks a lot, sweetie. So, what's next? I need some shots of the body before we move things around and disrupt the original crime scene. Okay. So, what can you tell me so far? Not much right now. Probably like the other four. Cause of death is drowning, but I'll make it official after the autopsy. She was stabbed numerous times and she was eviscerated. Nothing indicates a struggle or resistance on the part of the victim. My guess is she was unconscious during the stage of the assault. Can you walk me through what happened here? Not now. I'd rather do preliminary lab work first and also analyze the evidence you picked up. I'll give you a briefing when I finish a few tests. Okay. I think you can remove the cloth from her face now. Aw, oh, you spoil me.
God, look at the tattoo work on her skin. This girl liked pain. I have a feeling she's a pro. I don't know why. Just call it a hunch. Which would be a first according to the killer's MO and profile. I'll run the victim's name through the database to see if we hit something. What's her name? According to the ID in her purse, it's Cynthia Woods. Now can you take her picture without the rag on her face? Do you still need me here? Not really. I just enjoy the company. But I can see you'd rather be somewhere else. Listen, I can handle things here on my own till the boys get here. Anyhow, you look tired as hell. Oh, thanks for letting me off the hook, but seriously, if you need me, I'll stay. It's fine, sweetie, really. You're not completely off the hook. I'll see you back at the morgue for my briefing. I wouldn't miss it for the world. See you soon. <laughs>